afternoon, David. Hi, Just after a quick update on the latest injury and fitness situation with your squad. Well, we're, we're only just back today, so uh, the players have had a recovery session and getting them prepared for the game. Uh, uh, I don't think we'll have Jared at the weekend. Uh, Alphonse, I'm not sure about yet. Uh, Calvin Phillips, I'm not sure about yet. So they're ones I'll need to wait on. Mavropanos was taken off late last night. Is, how's yeah, he looking? I've not spoke to the medical team uh, since I've come back yet to see what, what, what their feelings are. Uh, I said he felt he felt something a little bit, whether it's uh, bad or not, we're not sure yet. I know you were unhappy last night with the reaction from the Bayer Leverkusen bench to the Pakatar yellow. Have you any more thoughts on yeah. that? I said it last night. That was my feelings at the time, and that was it, really. So you won't be wanting to speak to them when they return to London next week. No, no. Is there some disappointment between the players? The game plan worked so well last night up until. The late eighties. Is there some disappointment with the way the match ended? Mm -hmm. no, no, huge disappointment because we we players had done a, a great job. They worked really, really hard tirelessly to to keep a good team to keep a good team down. This building's nearly blown away here. <laughs> uh, but uh, look, we knew Leverkusen are very strong. They've got uh, 16, 17 players. They play. They interchange them. They play them. They're, they're all very much part of the squad and he's used them all year and they come on later on and made that little bit of difference. But uh, I was pleased with with, uh, with what we'd done, just disappointed in the latter stages. There's a chance when you see them next week they will be Bundesliga champions. Are you kind of hoping that the celebrations carry on a little bit so they arrive in London a little bit tired? Uh, well, I, I don't really know what, what Leverkusen are going to do. Uh, I have no idea, but I do know that it's a good side and we'll... We'll have to play well, and as I said last night, you know, we played the first part. There's a second half to go now, and we have to try and try and do better. Semi-automated offside technology will be coming in mm -hmm. just after the start of the next season. Are you in favour of that being introduced? Look, every time we, if something new comes out, we all ask, are we in, are we in favour? I think half the time we, we might say yes, we might say no. The truth is we probably don't know. We need to see how it works and we need to see if we think it gets the results which uh, uh, are desired. Uh, I think it's maybe going to speed things up a little bit by all accounts, so if it does then that would that would help. But I think it will take the manager's time to have a look at it and see if we if we generally think it, it's going to work. It's difficult to ask us just now until we, until we see it. Depending on the Manchester United result, ahead of your game you could actually end the weekend in sixth. How much of a positive is that for you? Well, I think the positive is that we're, we're at this stage of the season and we're still in fighting for a, for a European spot, challenging with the teams around us. Uh, and I think that's, that, that says a lot about, about where we've been. You know, we've, we've had a lot of football as, uh, football as well, I should say. And, uh, you know, it's been a great effort by the players. We need to, we need to push on again now. We need to show that we're, we're ready and when it matters now, we can go again. Last time you played Fulham, you were hampered by illness and injury. Um, when you look at Fulham's squad now ahead of this game on Sunday, what are your thoughts of their form and how they're playing? No, the last time we played Fulham, we were well beaten by a good Fulham team. No doubt about that. And uh, we know we're up against a, a good side, good manager, and we'll have to play really well. We, we know that. So uh, Fulham have got a lot of good players and we'll have to be at our best. And with six matches left to play in the season, what's your goal come May? Well, the goal is to try and be a, a European side again, if we can be. That's my, that was always my thoughts. You know, it's uh, when you're in it and you're playing the Thursday Sundays, it can be difficult. But when you're out of it, you're desperate to get back in amongst it. And we've had now three years of it, which we've been, it's been brilliant for us. Uh, if we can make it another one, it would be fantastic. And just finally from me, with all this football on, how are you going to be able to watch the Masters? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home later today and uh, kick my shoes off and sit on the couch and watch the golf. I've not seen any of it yesterday. Uh, but as always, the, the final days at the Masters are, are great to watch. And I'm a big golf fan and I'm looking forward to enjoying it over the next couple of days. Who, who are you tipping for the win? Well, Scheffler would be the favourite, but I think with the Masters you never know. I hope Rory wins, but... Uh, or uh, Billy Horschel. Yeah. I don't even think Billy's there this year, is he? No, I don't think Billy is, so you better cut that out then. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but let's hope that uh, 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 Rory, if, if Billy's not there. Thank you very much. Cheers. Sure. David, you mentioned that you were disappointed, obviously, with the end result last night. I mean, what was the journey back to London like for yourself? But also, what did you see from the players? They must have been disappointed. Well, of course we were, because we've, you know, we've been very good in Europe. You know, we're record. You know, we've we've lost very few games in Europe uh, over the last few years. So last night was hard to take because we'd done such a good job for 90% of the game. We'd done a brilliant job. We just couldn't quite get through the last bit. But we're playing, uh, <clears throat> we're playing, which is going to be a Champions League side next year. Uh, I think everybody's aware of, of, of how good they are. And uh, we came close, but not enough. And, and just in, in long patches of the game, we couldn't have enough control of the game. They did. But I have to say, we, we absorbed it as well as we could. Well, disappointment is very much part of football unless you're always playing at the top and even that becomes disappointing thing when you don't win a league or you don't win a cup, what you want to do. So I think disappointment in football is something which comes around. The thing about football is there's always another game to try and put it right. So we have to try and put it right in our next game against uh, Leverkusen. We had a brilliant win last week against Wolves, which uh, gave us three valuable away points. And now we're back at home, where for the majority of the season we've we've done okay. So I'm hoping that we can we can pick that up again and, and go again and get a good result at home. It's interesting because obviously you've now got two home games coming up, um, obviously against Fulham in the Premier League and then against Bayer Leverkusen. So I just wondered how important you think it will be to get a good result and a performance on Sunday ahead of the, the game against Leverkusen. Well, I think every time you win, it, it builds a little bit of momentum. I actually felt that we'd done a lot of good things at Leverkusen last night partly because we had a really good result against Wolves on uh, on Saturday last week. Uh, so if we can if we can play well against Fulham and give ourselves a little bit of uh, hope that we're going into the next game with, with every chance, we will do. We're going to the, we'll, we'll always go in with hope. And, uh, you know, you never know, football changes very quickly. Small things in football can, can alter and we might need that to happen next week. And finally for me, I mean, you've kind of really touched on it in terms of Fulham, but they've lost their last Well, every time I see Fulham, I expect a, a, a really good football inside. I think they, they're, they're good. They play very well out from the back. Uh, they're, they're always a threat to a lot of sides because they've got so many good aspects to their, to their game. Uh, they'll probably be a bit disappointed that their league position is maybe not a bit stronger. But I think Fulham have done incredibly well since they, they came back into the Premier League. I think they're... They don't look like a side in any way who's in, in jeopardy of getting relegated. They look a, a, a much stronger side than that. And I think they've got very good players. So I think Fulham are, uh, are a hard hard team for any team, whether it be us or whether it be anybody else. I think Fulham have proved that this season. Very funny, Lauren. Um, this is time for a cover now between the next few matches, not just physically but mentally as well. How do you and the team cope with that? Uh, it's a good question and it's difficult. The, you know, mentally to try and get yourself back and the players ready. Physically is a problem as well, but uh, but both of them because you know you, you're feeling that you need a little bit of time. You're needing to recover. You're needing to sort of debrief and get things cleared out the way. But we've been doing it now for three years, and we've been doing it the last three years, going right into April in May, which we're doing just now. And uh, I'm not saying you can get used to it. But we're getting used to it and we're getting a bit more used to saying this is how, you know, what do we have to do, how do we need to feel on the day of the game. We've only just returned and we've still got a couple of days before we play again, so we've got to try and give the players every every chance to recover and be ready for the next game. I think we may have had a European game just before we played them as well. I think that, that was uh, also on the, on the Thursday before. I may be wrong, but I think I did. 
Uh, but it can happen in football, you know, I think this season more than ever. Uh, and look, while we're a team who's improved greatly, we're still a team who, who you know, if we don't play at our best and we don't perform and we don't turn up, then like any other side, you can be, you can be turned over. Football or one, uh, film are one of those things, but uh, could do that. I think Marco's done a really good job at Fulham. I said I think he's uh, stabilised them a lot. I said I don't think they're looking anywhere like a, a side which uh, has ever been threatened by relegation in any way. And I know they might wish they were in a stronger league position, but I think they've. Uh, I think they've done very well. I think Marco's done a really good job there and they have a lot of good players.